Well, Dan, the lawsuit centers around high school teacher Douglas Lay, who was arrested just last week on charges. He was trying to get young boys to send him nude photos, but the charges laid, laid out in this lawsuit go back more than a year ago. As far as we're concerned, the school district gets an F grade on protecting the students, and we are determined to hold them accountable. At a news conference Thursday afternoon, high profile attorney Gloria Allred announced she has filed this 29 page lawsuit against the Gilroy School District on behalf of a former high school student who received sexually explicit text messages from Gilroy High School teacher Douglas Lay. It is time for the Gilroy Unified School District to take action to protect our children. I am disgusted that the district did not do enough to protect my daughter. She had to leave her friends, her classes, and Gearway High School. Those text messages, too graphic to repeat, were sent a year and a half ago. The school district says they reprimanded Lay, but he was allowed back in the classroom. And just last week, Lay, still a teacher at Gilroy High, was arrested, accused of posing as a woman online and enticing hundreds of young boys to send him nude photos of themselves. If the district had done what it should have done, Mr. Lay would not have been in a position to engage in sexually inappropriate behavior with hundreds of minors who were reportedly current and former Gilroy students. Allred says the district should have fired Lay on the spot when he sent those sexually charged text messages to his 10th grade chemistry student. The girl's mother is now suing the district for negligence, emotional distress, and sexual harassment. And because they failed to take meaningful actions, many more children were harmed. I hope that Gilroy Unified School District has learned a lesson and that they will in the future do what is right and necessary to protect our precious children. The district was expecting this announcement. Our superintendent and board are disturbed by the allegations against ex-employee Doug Lay. However, our focus remains on the education and safety of all students. We will continue to cooperate fully with the San Jose Police Department until this investigation is complete. Now, this lawsuit was filed on behalf of Jane Doe. It's seeking unspecified damages to be determined later by a jury should the lawsuit go to trial. Dan, Aaron. All right. Thank you very much, Felix. As for Douglas Lay, he was going to be fired as a result of the new allegations. Instead, he submitted his resignation last Friday.